This video will complement other detailed information provided in Flow's written assembly instructions and owner's manual. Each wheel will take approximately 5 minutes to assemble and install with one person. If you are working on a V2602 lift, install one set of wheels on the outside of the lift and install the other set on the inside of the lift. Drilled wheels should also be used on V2602 lifts as well as freestanding canopies. Place the half of the clamp assembly that contains the spindle onto the frame beam with the spindle facing inward as shown. Put the other half of the clamp without the spindle onto the clamp with the spindle as shown. The two halves are engineered to fit together. It may be necessary to push down on the spindle to get it into the other half of the clamp. Before going any further with the installation, ensure that the edge of the clamp assembly is 17 inches from the corner post. Insert the half inch bolt into the clamp assembly and secure it with the supplied nylock nut. Tighten and torque to 5 foot pounds. Place the supplied bushing onto the spindle, as shown. Next, add the wheel. Last, slide the washer onto the spindle and secure the assembly with the included spring clip by inserting the ends of the clip into the holes in the spindle, as shown. Repeat this process on the other three wheels.